What's up, people, and welcome to another edition of Cheating at Video Games, Hogwarts Legacy Edition. So, I was going to do one on a cheat table, but the one that I found is not that great. So, as always, the easiest option here is Wii Mod, which I already have open here. And there seems to be some confusion with how to use this, because every time I even mention Wii Mod, people are like, oh, you have to pay for it. Well, you don't have to pay for it. And I'll explain why. So we're going to go ahead and hit play, because I'm playing this on Steam. We're going to load the mods. It's probably going to take a second here. And we're waiting. And we're waiting some more. And we're waiting. There we go. So now that it says we're playing. So the paid version of this will allow you to just click the toggle switches, right? But you don't need to do that. So, in this case, I'm gonna turn on unlimited health. And that's the num key one. We got the ding that it's on. Uh, edit max health, and there's no point in doing that if you got unlimited health. Uh, unlimited magic and ancient magic energy. We're gonna turn that on. Uh, max combo. Uh, Sure, we'll turn that on too. Spells instant cooldown, so I should be able to use stuff instantly. So we'll turn that on. Uh, the movement speed, uh, we'll do that last, because I always like to have a little bit of fun with movement speed. So, life leech percentage. In this case, we would hold, or rather, we would hit the 9 on the numpad to change that value. And then we would hold control and hit 9. To decrease that value. So let's go ahead and turn that up to 100, I guess. Why not? And of course, we've got max extraordinary gear drop rate, uh, max legendary gear drop rate. Let's go ahead and do legendary gear drop rate. Can't speak. Uh, stealth mode, I'm assuming that the enemies won't be able to see you. Unlimited item usage, that probably means that you keep your resources so sure why not we'll turn that on too and of course you hear the ding that means it worked or rather that it's on uh, shop items cost zero money that sounds like a good one too so we'll hit all five gain money when buying items uh, yes please alt and numpad six we'll turn that to 8.6 uh, money multiplier, uh, usually always want to crank that up to whatever the heck I can do. So we'll hit 49 or 50 or whatever. You know what, let's just max this sucker out. Oh, that's too maxed. Uh, loots multiplier, only affects items from enemies and treasure chests. This mod may cause the game to crash when killing trolls. Uh, let's not do that then. Uh, unlimited XP, yeah, we could basically do experience multiplier, right? And we'll do alt, zero. We'll just crank that up to 12. Of course, you can turn that to whatever the heck you want, but 12 seems like a good number. Now, most of these are kind of redundant. So if you turn on one hit kills, there's no point in using the damage multiplier. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'll go ahead and turn on one hit kills. Just so we can see what happens. Now, <laughs> here we go. Set movement speed, right? We're going to turn... And I know that's annoying. I'm sorry, I can't turn that off. Oh, 12 is a good number. Whoa, okay. Uh, uh oh. Uh. <laughs> uh oh my god. Where am I? Where am I at? I don't even know. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, Jesus. So this works for swimming too, apparently. You know, if you ever wanted to be a mermaid. 
We'll just swim around here. Okay, all right, all right. I'm, I'm done messing with that. I've, I've broken the cape. Uh, let's go back to Wiimod here. We're gonna, we're gonna make that normal. Alright, 1.5 is fine. We'll we'll just do that. There we go. We'll move a little we'll we'll move slightly faster. We don't want to like break the game here. Uh there is a camp over here somewhere I can test all this stuff out on. Enjoy suffering, do ya? Who said that? Where is he? Oh. You should know better than that by now. Here. We've all told you before, but and look what happened. Not what I was looking for. I am looking for... Is this the other camp? You know, we're just gonna... We're gonna fly around a little bit. We're just gonna... There we go. Alright. We'll just sit down here. Now, you see those two big burly dudes over there? Let's go into uh, stealth mode. We're gonna hold alt. And hit three. And let's see if I can just walk right past him. Just for for giggles here. It's Totalis. Okay. Now you see this rock? I am going to Uh uh oh. Not entirely sure what happened there. Kinda weird. Let's uh to pulso this thing into him. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm doing that completely backwards. And the speed thing is glitching out. Oh, Lord. Where's the troll? Okay, there he is. All right. Now, let's... Uh, well, if it would stop launching me into a completely different direction, that would be awesome. All right, to pulso this guy. To pulso. Oh. What? How did I not get credit for that? I said launch an object at him. Okay. Uh, well. Okay, he's dead. One last foul hulking brute. So yeah, we know the uh, the one hit kills work. Let me change the movement speed again and put that back in. I should be at 0.2. All right, we're back at zero, so there shouldn't be any more weird glitchy things with that. Uh, the experience multiplier, okay, that was, we saw that it gave me a ridiculous amount of XP. Let's go ahead and turn unlimited XP on just to see what happens. We will turn off stealth mode which is alt and three so that's off money multiplier we left on i didn't really mess with that i should have while i was still in town uh control alt on pad one we're going to turn off one hit kills and then we're going to increase our damage multiplier. and i know the noise is annoying it not much you can do about it. At least I don't think. I mean, let's take a look here. There's an account, customization, play sounds. So we can turn that off. Okay, good. Or, actually, I want that on because you need to know if it's working or not. We're going to change the volume down to 18. There, that's a good, that's a good noise, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, so now let's try and go back to the uh, the damage multiplier here, which is Control Alt Three. There we go. All right, that's a lot more manageable. Yeah, nineteen point four. Yeah, why not? 
get back on the uh, handy dandy broom of uh, flying. Let's see if we can't find another camp or something somewhere. If I remember correctly, there was a very large bandit camp back in this direction, but I could be completely wrong. I was completely wrong because it's actually way on the other side of the map, but we're committed. We're going this way. We'll find something to murder. What about down here? What we got here? Oh, another troll. All right. So, now we should have instant spell cooldowns on, so... Good friend, defend us! He's burning on us! And he's dead! And we are now level 40. So that's an easy way of doing that. <laughs> I got an unidentified legendary. So assuming you keep this on, obviously we got money, that's an easy way. I mean the multiplier is obviously the easier way, sorry. Because for some reason it is so time consuming just to make money. Uh, we got goblins fighting spiders. So the instant spell cooldown stuff works. What the heck? What is that? What? What? I can hear it. Where is it? It's gotta be over here somewhere. Something is. I don't know what. Is it flying? Huh, whatever. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Uh, set game speed, blah blah blah. We already looked at those. Multiplier, evidence, player speed. We don't want to mess with that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw gravity or something here. Oh, that may have been on the on the cheat table. Either way, uh, we're still in good shape. Gain money when buying items. That's set to 8. Shops cost 0. No, we need to probably go to Hogsmeade for that. Uh, we've already confirmed that these work. Uh, game speed. Don't really need to mess with that. Life leech. I'm assuming that is gain health on hit. But just to test the uh, shop stuff here, we're going to go ahead and go to Hogsmeade. And I want to be close to the potion shop, so I'm going to put myself right next to it. Hogsmeade, here I come. Okay, so I should be right by the shop. And I am. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Wong. Save uh, me a lot of time and trouble. So, so you see that the potion recipe is negative forty three hundred. A wise decision. Thank so you. So, he's literally giving me money to buy his stuff. Obviously, our gold is going. Through the roof here. Thirty-eight thousand. Decision. Thank you. Uh, we'll just buy a couple of these. Uh, thank you for the four thousand gold. Thank you. And the the eight thousand. Sorry. So at this point, we're up to sixty-seven thousand. A wise decision. Seventy-eight thousand. Thank you. Eighty-one thousand. Eighty-four thousand. Now, I'm assuming that those values change based on whatever I did as the money multiplier. Oh, which I have maxed out. So here it's 8.6. So 
So let's go ahead and we're going to crank that all the way up because that's how we do things around here. Now we're at 21. And I was right. So that obviously increases the amount of gold you gain by a wise decision whenever you. you're buying things for free. <laughs> and just like that, we're just going to buy all kinds of stuff here. And we're officially at over 100,000. So, yeah. Obviously, I don't want to sell the legendary items. I hope to see you again. Farewell for uh, now. Let me see if I can find another chest around here that I haven't opened. This isn't my actual save because, honestly, I don't feel the need to cheat in this game. But I'm one of those people that likes to have the option. Uh... I really need a chest because if my theory is correct, if I find a chest, Rebellion. I should be able to get another legendary out of it. So there's one back there somewhere. I'm hoping that's not behind a locked door, which it is. So that's pointless. Uh, we got one in this house that is behind a locked door that I haven't figured out how to unlock yet. We got some in here. There's one on the outside, I believe. Okay, there's one here. So let's see if this gives me a legendary. And it did! So now chests are just gonna spit out legendary items left and right, depending on... Uh, obviously, we can't pick and choose what we want here, but... Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, here's a good one. And legendaries. So yeah, that's a very useful one for gear. Not gonna lie. I mean, you can be decked out in legendary stuff in no time. Uh, we check the stealth mode. There's no point in doing the extraordinary gear drop rate when you have legendary. And... The loot's multiplier, I don't think this is really necessary, especially with that little disclaimer there saying that if you fight a troll, it could crash the game. So I probably wouldn't even bother with that. We know the one-hit kills work. We know the damage multiplier works. Uh, we know the movement speed works if you want to fly across the map just by pressing the controller in a fraction of a direction. Life leech, not really necessary unless you want to turn off the unlimited health. Editing max health, not really that important, because you have unlimited health. Uh, the maximum combos, obviously, we saw that it went up to times 99 on the fight. We have unlimited magic en ancient magic energy. Sorry, again. We can fling spells left and right, like nobody's business. But, you know, since we're here, let's go here. Expelliarmus! This is a bad example because there's no enemies around. Obviously, in town, you can sit there and throw that all day long and not do anything. But yeah, overall, I would say this cheat table is, or sorry, this Wii mod. We the Wii mod is the better option as opposed to the cheat table from what I found. Not gonna lie. Again, you don't have to pay for Wii mod. All you have to do is download it and make sure you use the actual uh, hotkeys for this stuff. So you can't click on anything. It'll ask you to pay for it. Make sure you use whatever it says over here. And I think that's about it. So with that being said, I can get back to my, uh, my wizard adventures here. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.